Hi, my name is Jess from Phoenix Coaching and today I'm going to be taking you through a great exercise called the horse stance vertical, which is to work the deep muscles of the back, particularly a muscle called the multifidus. So this is great for anyone who's suffered any significant spinal trauma, such as a disc injury or a pull or tear or anything like that. So to explain a little bit about uh, this muscle, the multifidus, you can see here a picture of the lower back and you see the sacrum in the middle and then the five vertebrae of the lumbar spine here and then the, the rib starting here, the 12th rib, 11th rib. So the multifidus is this muscle that kind of sits in between the vertebrae on either side of the spine here and you can see kind of comes down and attaches to the uh, vertebral segment below. Now, what can happen and what happens most of the time when we have a disc injury, usually around L5, S1 here or L4, L5 here, is that what happens is the, the multifidus actually gets shut down and switched off around this area. Now, this is quite um, important to get this guy fired back on because what this is responsible for is what we call segmental stabilization of the lumbar spine. So in other words, it keeps the discs and the vertebrae in the right place within the spine and stabilized within each other so that when they're stabilized, they're able to buffer force and um, deal with forces placed on the spine. Because you, you can kind of think of the spine as floating within the sea of muscles. So any imbalance in the muscles supporting the spine is going to potentially cause problems. So in the case, in the case of a rehabilitation setting, if we are talking about a uh, disc injury, what will happen is the disc injury here will shut down this uh, multifidus area below it. And then we're kind of in like a chicken and egg scenario because with the multifidus switched off, it's very difficult to fully rehabilitate the spine. Um, but the the injury actually is switches off the multifidus. So it's one of these, uh, by this exercise, you can benefit a lot from doing it uh, two to three times a day because what you're looking to do is to keep this multifidus switched on and start strengthening it. So uh, let's go into the exercise. So now you perform the exercise in what we call a four point position, like so. Now this, the spinal position is quite important with this one. So it can be good to use a stick, like uh, this one here. So you're placing the stick on your back. Now you're looking for three points of contact. Um, sacrum here, shoulders here, and the head here. Now from here, what you're looking to do uh, is have a nice gap in between the stick here so that you can see through. So you, you want to try not to flatten your back against the stick. And the aim here is to pull your belly button in and lift up your hand and the opposite knee. And you're holding this position for 10 seconds. And then you swap. Now this hand and this knee. Now it's harder than it looks because the body has to stabilize itself in a crisscross pattern. I'm swapping to the other side. Now the aim is to have the hands just up off of the floor and the knee just up off of the floor so that you could fit a piece of paper underneath. Now what can happen is uh, numerous deviations. So from this kind of angle, what can happen is the hip can shift to the side if the muscles aren't strong or the, the lower back can dip down, the shoulders can dip down, so a multitude of things can happen here. So it can be helpful to do this in the side of a mirror. Now, 10 second hold either side, and looking to get to six to eight reps either side. Now the objective of this is that, what it's gonna do over time is, because it's quite a subtle exercise, really, really gets into the lower back muscles of the multifidus here. So over time, it's gonna get these guys fired up again and strong. So once you spent um, uh, a little bit of time here, got everything strong, nice and balanced and stable, you can then progress to the um, more advanced horse stance exercise, which is looking something like this. 
okay, 10 second holds either side. But for someone who's uh, suffering from a disc injury, the full horse stance may be a little bit too much to start with. So um, feel free to ask any questions um, on this video and I uh, hope this is helpful.